is left with a mess and out tens of thousands of dollars. I gave him a chance and this is what happened. <laughs> and this Metro family says the man they hired has done this before. How is he continuing to get jobs and hurt people the way he has hurt us? And that is where we begin tonight at 6. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Adria Goins in for Jolene. That family hired a contractor late last year to do some home improvements. Come to find out that contractor has a lengthy criminal history and he's no stranger to News 4. News Force Kaylee Olivas is looking out for them tonight. I gave him a chance yeah. and this is what happened. <laughs> Tara Coburn was searching for a contractor last year. She took to social media asking for recommendations. That's when Proco Unlimited owner David Alexander offered his services. Shortly after, the two went into business together, signing a contract that would cost Coburn just over 46 grand. We had to go get a loan just to make this happen. She says the project was supposed to be finished in March, but now we're nearing the end of May and she's wondering what's taking so long. He called me a couple weeks ago and told me that he went bankrupt. This is the same owner News 4 reported on in 2018 for allegedly leaving a family in a similar mess. Alexander has been in and out of court 10 times since 1993 for indebtedness. He has also been in the hot seat for breach of contract. His latest court appearance is for domestic assault and battery in the presence of a minor, which is still ongoing. His business license is still active, but his contractor's license was suspended as of 2018. How is he continuing to get jobs and hurt people the way he has hurt us? We tried calling Alexander Monday afternoon. You've reached Proco Unlimited. Can't get to your call. Leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible but it immediately went to voicemail. We're not expecting any money back. We just don't want this to happen to anybody else. In Oklahoma City, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. Al Coburn has filed a consumer complaint with the state attorney general's office. If you're looking to verify a contractor's license, we have a link posted for you on our website.